Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got a really exciting launch for you this month and it's from Textures, which is my brand. If you're new to the channel, Textures is a brand that I have been working on designing for about the past 18 months or so. Lots and lots of collection launches, different ranges, different themes, um, but essentially with the idea of adding texture to your paper craft projects. This one is called Floral Folk Art. Now I love the look of folk art. I love that you can mix and match almost any color and get away with it. Uh, beautiful bright color combinations. I love some of the imagery, imagery as well. Lots of whimsical images such as the uh, butterflies, uh, some of the birds, the feathers, the flowers. Um, I just love it all, everything about it. And I'm surprised it's taken me this long to come up with a collection along this theme. So floral folk art, it's a selection of dyes, stamps, embossing folders. Um, we've got in here um, layering stamps, which is actually my, my favorite product of the entire range. Um, but then we've also got layering dies as well. We've got large sentiments. We've got the embossing folders. They're not 3D embossing folders, but they look it because of the design. Uh, I'm going to quickly run through each and every item for you and show you some cards that I've made as well. Now, links for everything is down below. Uh, I'd really love it if you could shop through my links. Um, they are affiliate links, which means that if you purchase through those links later on, I get a very, very small amount of commission from your purchase. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So yeah, really appreciate it if you could browse through those where possible. Thank you. Okay, so let's get started. Um, these are in no order in particular. Let's just start with the first one. So we've got the, uh, but they're butterflies, but um, I always think this looks a bit more like a moth than a butterfly, so it's up to you which way you call it. Um, but they are layering, so as you can see at the top, you've got sort of the finished item for each. But here you've got the breakdown of all the dies. Now they are a good sized die, in fact, rather than taking them out, I can show you just on this card here, you can see. And when you layer them up, they look absolutely beautiful because you've got detail cut into each layer, so you peek through to another colour. So hopefully you can see that. Okay, I've actually added a couple of sequins there just for a bit of sparkle on them. And the beauty about die cutting is you really can choose any color cardstock that you have in your stash to create your project so you're not limited. So for example, sometimes with stamping, you're kind of limited to the ink colors that you have. Usually crafters tend to have lots and lots of different color um, card stocks. So you really can make a range of different butterflies from this set. So there's eight pieces in total in here. The next piece is another die set, and this is the Flora and Fauna. Now, this is lots of individual dies. There's 14 pieces in here, so it's uh, not 14 die cuts because there's a lot more than that. Some of the pieces are actually together. If I just take them out of the packet to show you. So, for example, I've got a number of die cuts in this piece, but they're all together on one die plate as such. So you're not going to lose the little bits. You can see you've got lots and lots in there. They're all bunched together, lots of different flowers and stems, and you can create these. Now I actually use this packaging as a guide when I'm putting them all together as well. So just to help me remember where each of the shapes layer up. So we've got some really fun ones there, but lots of these can switch and also be used as foliage. So for example, this blue one in the corner here can easily be cut from green and used as a leaf as well. So you can have lots of fun positioning these. Let's just take a look at a card here where I've used them around the edge there. I really love layering these up. I tend to just pick three or maybe four colors and just stick to those colors throughout all of the florals. Um, I've got lots of demonstrations coming up for you over the next few weeks with these where I'll be doing different colorways so you can see how they all work. Alternatively, if I just bury deep within my samples here, you can see I've used lots of colors, lots of bright colors on here. I think this really is giving you the opportunity to mix and match all your different colors. Use up your scraps as well. But yeah, I really love, 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 love those flowers. So that's Flora and Fauna. Then we've got a floral sentiment panel. So this is another good size die. Everything's actually in it. So do you know what? I don't need to show you that. I can show you on the card again, can't I? You just saw that one. There you go. You are wonderful. Now this is very much in a brush, a brush lettering font. I used to do brush lettering. I still do occasionally, not anywhere near as much. Um, but it's very much a font that I actually used to do myself. So um, love designing this. In addition, you do have some extra pieces. Again, it says five piece die set. This is all one, the word is all one, and then you do get your other four dies, but this includes a couple in each. 
so they're sort of plates with a few die cuts in each and these are just accents that are going to fit around as I have here using the flora and fauna but you can just pop those around your words if you're just buying one die set that's really good because you've got the flowers and the foliage in there too then my favorite of all I absolutely absolutely love this product it, it really is it's come out so much better than I even imagined. So it is a layering stamp. It's just called the floral layering stamp. Um, it does have birds and feathers in there as well as flowers. It's got foliage. You can use it as a semicircle or you can use it as a full circle. I always end up using it as a full circle because I love the detail and I love seeing it in full. Now included with this, you do have your layering guide, which is, if I just show you here, a sheet of acetate which has a full circle and a half circle on there so if you want to be um, perfectly positioning your two halves together and that will make sense in a moment when I show you um, you can use this as a guide for yourself so I'll just pop that to the side but you'll notice in here we've actually got three separate stamps and these are your three layers so you're going to be using three colors with this each time obviously if you wish you can just stamp them all in the same color uh, but you're not really going to get that detail picked out this is just so much fun to work with. I've uh, used it with some of my favorite colors here. So pinks, uh, dusky pink, sort of forest green, and then this beautiful plum color as well. Just look, it's just a stamp, stamped twice. So each layer, twice, lay them up together, beautiful inks, and then a sentiment. It's so, so simple, such quick and easy cards. Let's just see if I've got another one. Here we go, so I've got different colors here. I've got blues, greens, and yellows, but I have popped a, a bold sentiment on top. That's that you are wonderful die on top of there. So you've just got it in the background. It can be texture if you just wanted to do say white embossing with this stamp. But then look at that, just picking out one layer with gold embossing, isn't that pretty? So this is on craft card stock. So the actual pattern is quite muted, quite toned down, nice and neutral, but you have got the flecks of gold throughout the details of the bird's head. And it's really, really easy to line up as well. Worth mentioning that. It's not at all difficult for you to line up um, because it's literally just putting the two straight edges together when you go on to the next one. You've already got the first one stamped, so really easy. Um, I'm gonna be using this lots in my YouTube videos now, I think. Um, you have got A, B and C on the packaging as well if you need to remind yourself which ones you've done. Okay, so then on to the embossing folders. As I say, these are not 3D embossing folders, but the designs are so deep and so detailed and beautiful, they look 3D. Now this one in particular, because it's geometric, I mean, it's probably already making your eyes sort of look a bit optical illusion, and that's what I wanted from this, because I wanted to give you that three-dimensional look without, for you, the expense of having to purchase a 3D embossing folder, which of course, does cost more money to make and also more money to then sell on than an ordinary embossing folder. So that's why I chose to go with a dimensional kind of optical illusion type look. Now I have got it on both of these cards as you can see in the background and I just love this because it's adding subtle texture to a card background that would otherwise be plain. This is the one with the emboss so this is the forward facing one as such and this is I've actually used the deboss on this one. So it's actually the grooves go inwards as such. So I really, really love that. So that is the geometric one. And then we've got the bold floral. Absolutely adore this one as well. There we go, just tilt it towards the light because I've done it on a dark cardstock here. It just fills that space beautifully. Isn't it gorgeous? So let's take a look at some more. So I've got one here as well. So just seeing if I can tip it for you. So you've got all of those florals in there. I'm sure I've got others. I'm not sure if I've got any here. I uh, can't see any more. Oh yes, I have one more. I've shown you this card already, but just there. So if I just tip that, can you see, isn't that stunning? Absolutely beautiful. It's a bit, it reminds me of that sort of anaglypta wallpaper, really stunning. So yeah, lovely, lovely embossing folders. They are six by six. Uh, which I wanted because you can then fit them onto a square card even if you do up to like huge eight by eight inch cards you can still fit the six by six square on mats and layers and it will still look in place but al alternatively if you want to cut this down to uh, a6 maybe if you want to cut it down to five by seven or four by six or a2 whatever it may be 
you can then trim the pattern down. So lots of options and versatility with that one. And don't forget with your embossing folders, of course you can go ahead and you can ink the folder as well and you can do your embossing techniques, bring your brayers to them, loads of techniques there. This is another absolutely gorgeous die set. Now this one I have to get out of the packet for you to really show you the size and everything you're getting. There's a lot of metal here. Um, it's actually a really heavy die set, so the price is amazing. So let's just open the packaging. Here we are. Okay, so what we're getting first of all is a plate. So uh, I think in the US you call these cover plate dies, but basically this is a large die, but it doesn't cut out the outer edge, so it's going to cut into your cardstock for you. Now a fantastic example of this, I've actually done it on a much smaller card, is just here. So you can see it leaves the rest of your card, so it leaves that edge intact. Isn't this beautiful for a little card? And of course you could make it much bigger, you could do it on more of an A2 size or even larger, uh, but I just wanted to overlap and you can see there, it just cuts through so beautifully and leaves everything intact. But alternatively, if you want to cut out that circle, you can do, you've got the perfect size die to fit around the edge. You can cut them together or you can do each layer separately. Then what we've also got included, I mean, that's a fantastic die on its own, well worth it, going to get lots of use out of it. I will show you some more cards using that in a moment, but they also incorporate these. And they are your three flowers that are layering flowers. Now this kind of comes a little bit from a really popular die set of mine that sold out extremely quickly, and that was the Magnolia from the Magnolia Drive collection, because we had these lovely outline floral included with them. So I've kind of taken that look. We've got the outlines on each of these, but we've also got the solid colors and the shading that we'll layer behind. So there's three or four layers to each. So let's pop that to the side and take a look. So you can see here, I've used the circle. I've actually just cut out and matted with some white behind it. So you've just got texture. So again, it almost looks as if it's embossed in the background, but then I've layered up my florals put a white outline on the outside. And that's actually what I did here, is just a white outline because I just think it brings it back to that floral folk art sort of look. And I love, I love each of these. So these were distress inks, or I think they were distress oxides. No, they were inks. Um, smooshed onto a mat, spritz a bit of water, dip my solid floral shapes into them, leaving the white outlines without any ink on, layer them up, put the white outline on top, and there we go, it picks out all the detail, really beautiful. And then uh, I've got another one here, looks so, I've actually cut the, cut the circle from green. Where I cut it from white, from one of these cards, I actually pieced back in some of the white to go sit under my flowers. Now you can clearly see here, um, particularly using the red, where you've got the dark shading you piece in. So don't forget each one of these flowers is just three layers. So you've got a solid layer, the complete shape. You've got a smaller layer uh, in this one, for example, it's the bright red layer. That's one piece. And then you've got the third piece, which is the outline. That's all one piece as well. So um, yeah, really, really simple, beautiful florals to put together. They kind of got that drawing, sketchy, arty look about them rather than making, trying to make them look realistic we're looking at painted florals, uh, which is of course what folk art is. It's, you know, painting. So that's what we want the look to be. So that is that die set. I'll put all that away in just a moment. And lastly, we have another really lovely sentiment die, good vibes only. I just, I love this phrase. It's actually something, a sort of phrase my daughter uses quite a lot. So let's see, where have we got good vibes written down? Here we go. Look at that, good vibes only. It just fits, doesn't it? It's just great. It's really modern, really contemporary, really nice, clean, with the flowers around as well, just dotted around from the Flora and Fauna collection with that embossing folder in the background too. I just think it's beautiful. So let's just recap a few of those cards just quickly so you can see them. Oh, good vibes only there as well, of course, in the blue. I love the different colorways that I've been able to experiment with with this because there really is no set colorway for these. You can literally go as bold as you want to with the colors. This is really quite lacy and delicate and then we've got really bright colors as well. You can go monotone, so with the purples there. Definitely with the stamp, experiment with your different colors. So I've got three different looks here just from one stamp and that's using it as a full stamp. Of course, don't forget, I can use that as a half circle as well. That's the one with the 
gold on there. So I'm hoping that you love the look of this collection as much as I do. If you do, please do pop along to Crafts Dash via the links in the description and take a look at everything there. Because if this goes anything like Magnolia Drive, uh, we're going to be seeing sellouts very, very quickly and we don't always know if we can restock any of the items. So um, yeah, I really appreci appreciate all your support so far. Um, throughout designing for textures it's been absolutely brilliant I promise I'll try and get uh, even more tutorials up for you using this collection now it's launched um, you'll see those coming up um, certainly on a weekly basis at least so uh, yeah please let me know in the comments as well which of the items is your favorite and if you've got any ideas that you'd love to see from textures let me know that as well um, if you're just joining me if you just stumbled across I'd love a subscribe too and you can see more things like these product launches and then what you can do with the products too but I also include tips and techniques with uh, generic craft items things like your distress inks it's a huge favorite of mine and such like so yeah love a subscribe from you too thank you so much for your time today everybody take care and i'll see you again very soon